Well, today, President-elect Donald Trump's team is making significant progress on rounding up support for Defense Secretary nominee Pete Hegseth. ABC's Perry Russom has the latest, including how one of Iowa's senators could play a major role in the decision to confirm Hegseth. Today, President-elect Trump's pick for Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth appears to be gaining momentum toward confirmation. So he's much better off this week than he was last week. The former Fox News host today on Capitol Hill, sitting down with Texas Senator John Cornyn. I will support Pete Hegseth, um, as I've always say, barring any unforeseen circumstances. Hegseth meeting with Iowa Senator Joni Ernst for a second time yesterday. She is a combat veteran and survivor of sexual assault. I would never speak for Senator Ernst. And I, know I appreciate the time. It was an amazing conversation. Ernst apparently softening her stance on Hegseth. I am supporting the process. It appears the female Republican senators control Hegseth's fate, and every meeting with them will matter, including the one today with Alaska Senator Lisa Murkowski. Looking forward to a great conversation. Hegseth settled an accusation of sexual misconduct, an allegation he denies, and has questioned whether female soldiers should be in combat. I'm straight up just saying we should not have women in combat roles. Hegseth on Fox News last night saying he wanted to clarify his comments. Some of our greatest warriors, our best warriors out there are women uh, who, who serve, praise their right hand to defend this country uh, and love our nation. Democratic Senator Richard Blumenthal accuses Trump of pressuring Republicans to confirm. If the fear of Donald Trump and his potential retribution were less, there's no question that this nomination would go down and go down heavily. Trump's nominee for FBI Director Cash Patel had his own meetings with lawmakers today, including with Senator Mark Wayne Mullen from Oklahoma. Mullen says he is confident Patel will get confirmed. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.